In this tutorial, we will cover the steps to turn on Universal Terminal and Task Controller in the in-command displays and show where to locate the ISOBUS settings. Universal Terminal and Task Controller are turned off by default. The first step to controlling an ISOBUS implement is to enable these features in your in-command display. From the home screen, first tap the Setup app. Then tap Console Setup. In the Console Setup menu, tap ISOBUS Settings, and then tap the Enable Universal Terminal checkbox. With this box checked, the Universal Terminal app will appear on the home screen, and UT will be a button on the taskbar of the mapping screen. If you will be using Ag Leader ISOBUS modules, you also need to tap the Broadcast Display Speed checkbox and the Auxiliary Module Support checkbox. Function instance can be left on the default value of zero. In general, the function instance only needs to be changed if more than one display is connected on the machine's ISOBUS line. On the right side, tap the Enable Task Controller checkbox. Task Controller, when it is supported by the ISOBUS ECU, lets us control some of the implement's functions directly from the mapping screen. Tap the green check mark to finish, and then tap the back arrow to return to the home screen. You can now continue with your equipment setup by tapping the Universal Terminal app. If you are connected to the ISOBUS implement, you will see a status bar showing that the communication between the display and implement is initializing. Now you will be able to enable Universal Terminal and Task Controller to use your in-command display with ISOBUS modules and equipment. For more information on each ISOBUS setting, please refer to the in-command display user guide. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.